All right, get ready for a tech treat, because following today's tech update, we're going to be showcasing a standout call for my weekend show. It's called The Kim Commando Show, of course. There are at least a million reasons not to trust social media influencers, and this new one may even help influencers break the law. I'm Kim Commando for LinkedIn Jobs. Post a job for free and find qualified candidates quickly at linkedin.com slash Kim. Many social media influencers are paid in some way for a positive review or to endorse a product. Not a problem if they tell you up front. Most don't. Enter a new type of, well, let's call it a credit card. It's a black and gold card. It looks like the almost impossible to get American Express black card. But this card comes from something called the OTH network, short for on the house. Influencers write good things about restaurants and stores. They use the card to trade the good publicity for expensive dinners and merchandise. Of course, the Federal Trade Commission is very clear about this. When an influencer gets paid in any way to endorse a product, they have to tell you. When's the last time you heard any influencer say that? Enter to win a new iPhone 16 at winfromkim.com. Hey there, tech lovers and wannabes. Want to stay ahead of the game? You've got to check out my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So many people are loving my new and improved channel. For starters, we've got fresh how-to videos every week, like how to block those super annoying political text messages, let important calls through even in do not disturb mode, and oh boy, watch out for sneaky QR codes that can actually brick your phone. It doesn't stop there. Join me for Kim Commando today, a fun podcast where we break down the latest tech news and trends. It's like talking tech with a friend, minus all the boring stuff. You'll get the latest tips and tricks to keep you in the know and have a little fun while doing it. Plus, who doesn't love being the tech-savvy one in the crowd? So head to youtube.com slash Kim Commando, hit subscribe, and make sure you never miss a new video or podcast. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. And when you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. With a K, of course. And I'll see you on the video. All right, here's a fantastic call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. That's a highlight reel right inside itself. Brent in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi there, Brent. Hi, Kim. I've listened to you a little bit. Um, it's hard for me to get on the, phone, on the radio, but I just found you on YouTube, so I'm catching up. Excellent. Good. We also have a podcast. We can get the show as a podcast, and also we have a, another podcast. That's the one you see on YouTube is Kim Commando today. But anyway, how can yeah. I help you out? And thanks for finding it. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we've got an educational company, and we've got uh, what they call enrichment centers in Malaysia, where we have a teacher in front of the children, and behind the teacher is a widescreen TV. We've been using DVDs uh, to augment the, the in-person activities, mm -hmm. and we can't get DVD players over there anymore. We need to find a way to run those DVDs with a remote or whatever, but digitally instead of, instead of with a DVD player. Okay. Um, let's think about this. All right. Um, oh, there's probably, there's a couple, you know, my first inclination is why are we using DVDs in the first place? Is there, is there any reason why you're not putting these up on, on YouTube or, uh, or using, you know, say, Google Drive or Dropbox? Uh, they're using the menu to, to navigate around. Okay. Uh, you can create menus with web-based content. Um, it may be a little bit more cumbersome. So if you do need to create the menus, um, probably then we're looking at, uh, you could get a media player, and you could put all these files on SD cards, but that's going to be really hard. Uh, but they do have remote control, so you could go from chapter to chapter, so to speak. Uh, there, there you're looking at like probably a Roku or Android TV box. Uh, oh. And you're going to save the files as MP4 files. Um, you could create your own system, but I don't think you want to do that using a Raspberry Pi box. Um, then oh, there's probably... I bet you probably, if you looked at uh, something called BrightSign, mm -hmm. uh, that's what companies use to display videos and presentations, like when you walk into like some big major corporations. Uh, okay. But they also have uh, menu options and remote controls as well. 
But it would be somehow if you could figure out, if, if you could get past the menu and maybe save each chapter as an individual file, then that would probably give you the greatest latitude and the greatest long-term solution because then you'd have it up in the cloud. You can, here in the United States, you could populate all of that. And they wouldn't necessarily have to have a remote or a menu system anymore, as well as just go mm -hmm. to file number one. You could call it chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, uh, which, you know, everybody in the world knows how to use YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, as long as you don't violate anybody's copyrights on these DVDs, you would be fine. You could also create a a hidden YouTube channel that unless you know the file's address is that it's not accessible, searchable to everybody in the entire world. You know, mm -hmm. because I think when we start looking at using something like BrightSign or, or Android TV box, I just think we're, we're, we're making it more complex than yeah. we need to make it because we want to keep it really simple. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. And so, so that's where it's like, you know, ripping the DVDs, you can use software like Handbrake to do that. Um, oh, we don't need to. We've got the files. There oh. are DVDs. Okay. We made them for the for the classroom. Oh, perfect. Okay, then you already have the files. And, and I, would, I would figure out how to structure it on YouTube. You could create a playlist for each individual mm -hmm. lesson plan. That would probably be the easiest solution for you is to take these files that you've already created get them up on YouTube, create playlists. And as I mentioned, everybody in the world uses YouTube and it'd be a lot easier and a lot more streamlined than to figure out how to get the files on cards, send everything over. Oh, I'm just thinking of like maintenance, tech support. Oh, no, no, no. Just put them up on YouTube. If you need any help with that, Brent, just give me a call back and thanks for your call today. A standing ovation to you for tuning in. Yay! Now, if you're puzzled by a tech issue, here's your call to action. Head to commando.com, select Email Kim. I read each and every note like it's the final round in a tech trivia game. And you can amp up your tech know-how by getting my free daily newsletter. It's just waiting for you over at getkim.com.